Hello everyone, this is Beverly Black. Today we're going to be making a salted caramel Kentucky buttered cake. So stay tuned so you can learn how to make this very moist but easy cake. And I hope that everyone is doing very well today. Hang around. You will see a lot of versions of this cake out there, but I'm using this one today. And what I'm going to be using is the International Delight Coffee Creamer instead of the buttermilk. So the ingredients for this cake is three cups of all-purpose flour, two cups of white sugar, one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of baking powder, one half teaspoon of baking soda, one half teaspoon of cream of tartar, one cup of caramel coffee creamer, one cup, no, two teaspoons of vanilla extract, four large eggs at room temperature, and that is the cake. And when I get ready to make the butter sauce to go on it, I'll come back with the ingredients for the butter sauce. So let's get started in making this cake. First, we will combine, and oh, I didn't tell you, preheat your oven to 325 degrees. And this cake will bake from 55 to 70 minutes, depending on your oven. And you need a bunt cake pan, greased and floured. I am using Baker's Joy in mine today. So let's get started. We need to add all of our dry ingredients to the mix in the mixing bowl. Okay, the flour is in. Now we're going to put in the two cups of sugar. I was getting ready to make a mistake right there. That's the two cups of sugar, the baking soda, the baking powder, and the cream of tartar. Now, if you're not using the coffee creamer, if you're not using that, you can use buttermilk. You can put in a cup of buttermilk. And if you use the buttermilk, then you don't use the uh, cream of tartar. Leave the cream of tartar out. Okay. Now all the dry ingredients are in there and I'm gonna just take my whisk and just whisk it up while it's in here, mixing it up. Now we're going to add the cup of butter, which is two sticks of butter at room temperature. And I am using unsalted butter because I have put a teaspoon of salt in the mixture. Our four eggs. They are at room temperature. And you will use two teaspoons of vanilla. Okay. And now we have the cup of um, the caramel creamer. And we will start mixing. Start off slow and you mix it for three minutes. <laughs> Your batter 
will be thick. As you can see, this batter is thick, but it's very smooth, and you want it to look like this. You beat it for three minutes, and now it's ready to go into the pan, and then we'll put it in the oven and bake. You see, it's very thick, but it's smooth. The batter is now ready to go in the oven. It's all in the pan, so we're ready to go. And I will be back and show you the cake when it comes out and the glaze that goes on top. The cake is out of the oven and it took it uh, this cake about one hour and 20 minutes. So I am getting ready to make the glaze to go on top of it. The ingredients for the glaze is, or the butter sauce, is 3 4 cups of white flour, one third cup of butter, three tablespoons of the caramel uh, coffee creamer, and two teaspoons of vanilla. And all we're doing is just heating it up and make sure that the um, sugar dissolves. three tablespoons of the creamer one two three okay all the ingredients are in for the um, butter sauce and all we're doing is getting the sugar dissolved. My sugar done stuck right here. And you don't want to bring it to a boil. So I got to be careful about that. Okay, I'm going to turn it off. One little spot right there that's stuck. Okay, it is hot. Now you have to put holes in the cake, but you don't go all the way to the bottom of the cake with the holes. You go about halfway so we can put this sauce in it. All over the cake. Some people put the sauce on it while the cake is in the pan, but a lot of those cakes will stick. So I took the cake out of the pan and we're gonna put the sauce on it. You can use a fork, toothpick, or whatever you wanna use to put the holes in. Okay. Now we're going to put the sauce on it. Just pour it all over it. And you're not supposed to let this sauce start boiling. I had my eye too high and it started a little bit. Put a few more holes in it.
my curtains. We're going to cut a piece and see how it looks on the inside. Look up there. Look, you see that buttery? Here's a piece. Got a lot of crumbs there on the side, but that's all right. Everybody enjoy this recipe will be down below in the description. Thank you for everyone coming by today. Have a blessed day. Get some of these crumbs off. Bye-bye.